Have you ever felt lost in the crowd? Wondering if you truly matter? Let me tell you something that will change your life. You are not an accident. You are not a random occurrence. You are chosen and set apart for a reason. If you believe that God can make a difference in your life today, let us stand together in faith. I will pray a fervent prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. Imagine for a moment that the Creator of the universe, the Almighty God, looked across all of time and space and said, I choose you. It sounds incredible, doesn't it? Yet this is exactly what the Bible tells us. In Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5, God declares, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you before you were born. I sanctified you. I ordained you a prophet to the nations. This powerful verse reveals that God had a plan for you even before you took your first breath. Being chosen by God isn't just a nice thought or a comforting idea. It's a life-changing truth that should shape how we see ourselves and the world around us. The Apostle Peter understood this when he wrote in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. These words remind us that we're not just chosen, but we're chosen for a purpose, to shine God's light in the world. When we truly grasp that we're chosen by God, it transforms our identity. No longer do we need to seek validation from the world or measure our worth by its standards. Our value comes from the fact that the King of Kings has selected us. This truth should fill us with confidence and courage, knowing that we have been handpicked by the Creator of the universe. But being chosen isn't just about feeling special. It comes with responsibility. God has set you apart for a reason. He has gifted you with unique talents, experiences, and perspectives that no one else has. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 tells us, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus, for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. You have a specific role to play in God's grand plan a role that only you can fulfill. Understanding that you're set apart might make you feel different from others, and that's okay. In fact, it's more than okay. It's part of God's design. Romans chapter 12 verse 2 encourages us, And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Being set apart means that we're called to live differently, to stand out in a world that often pushes us to blend in. My friend, this doesn't mean that being chosen and set apart is always easy. Sometimes it can feel lonely or challenging. You might face opposition or misunderstanding from others. But remember, you're in good company. Throughout the Bible, we see examples of chosen individuals who faced great difficulties. Moses stuttered, David was the youngest and smallest, and Paul had a thorn in his flesh. Yet God used each of them mightily. In those moments of doubt or difficulty, Cling to the promise found in Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. 
Being chosen by God doesn't mean a life free from challenges, but it does mean that we never face those challenges alone. Embracing your chosen status and living as one set apart requires faith and courage. It means stepping out of your comfort zone and trusting God's plan, even when it doesn't make sense to you. Remember, the words of Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your paths. As you walk in faith, you'll discover the incredible adventures God has planned for you. Being chosen and set apart also means living with purpose. Every day becomes an opportunity to fulfill the calling God has placed on your life. This doesn't necessarily mean doing big, grand things. Sometimes it's in the small, everyday moments that we make the biggest impact. A kind word to a stranger, a helping hand to a neighbor, or standing up for what's right in your workplace. These are all ways we can live out our chosen status. As you embrace the truth that you are chosen and set apart, let it fuel your passion to know God more deeply. Seek Him in prayer. Study His Word and listen for His voice. The more you understand the One who chose you, the more clearly you'll see the reason He set you apart. Let the words of Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, encourage you. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Remember, being chosen doesn't make you better than others. It makes you responsible to others. Use your chosen status to uplift, encourage, and serve those around you. Let your life be a testament to God's love and grace. As Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5, verse 16, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Always remember, you are chosen to bring glory to God. My friends, never forget this powerful truth. You are chosen and set apart for a reason. God, in His infinite wisdom and love, selected you for a unique purpose. He has equipped you with everything you need to fulfill that purpose. As you walk in this truth, you'll discover a life filled with meaning, adventure, and impact beyond anything you could have imagined. So, step out in faith, embrace your chosen status, and watch as God works wonders through your life. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. You may also listen to this prayer daily as you build your faith and come in agreement. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, Creator of the heavens and earth, I come before you with a heart full of praise and adoration. You are the King of kings and Lord of lords, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. You are my strong tower and my protector. Your power is beyond measure, your wisdom beyond comprehension, and your love beyond understanding. I stand in awe of your majesty and bow before your throne, recognizing that you alone are worthy of all praise and glory. Thank you, Lord, for choosing me and setting me apart for your purpose. I am grateful for the love you've shown me, for the grace you've extended to me, and for the mercy you've poured out upon me. 
Help me to walk in your divine wisdom and truth. Lord, thank you for the gift of life, for the breath in my lungs, and for the strength to face each new day. I am thankful for the unique gifts and talents you've blessed me with, and for the opportunities you provide to use them for your glory. Forgive me, Father, for the times I've doubted your choice or questioned your plan for my life. I repent of any ingratitude or discontentment that has taken root in my heart. Help me to forgive others as you have forgiven me, releasing any bitterness or resentment that might hinder my walk with you. Cleanse me with the precious blood of Jesus, washing away all my sins and making me white as snow. I declare in the name of Jesus that I am chosen and set apart for your purpose. I rebuke every lie of the enemy that tells me I'm worthless or insignificant. I bind the spirit of fear and insecurity that tries to hold me back from fulfilling your calling on my life. In Jesus' name, I break every chain of doubt and unbelief that attempts to keep me from embracing my true identity in Christ. Lord, I pray for the courage and faith to step into the purpose you've prepared for me. Give me wisdom to discern your will and strength, to follow your leading. Open my eyes to see the opportunities around me to shine your light and share your love. Help me to be bold in proclaiming your truth, even when it's difficult or unpopular. Fill me with your Holy Spirit, empowering me to live a life that honors you in every way. Father, I ask for your divine protection over my life. Shield me from the attacks of the enemy, whether they be physical, emotional, or spiritual. I rebuke every spirit of depression, anxiety, and fear that tries to overwhelm me. I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Guard my mind my heart, and my spirit from the influences of this world that seek to draw me away from you. Lord, I pray for healing in every area of my life. By the stripes of Jesus, I declare that I am healed and whole. I rebuke sickness, disease, and infirmity in Jesus' name. Let your healing power flow through my body, restoring every fiber of my being. I pray also for emotional and spiritual healing, asking you to mend any brokenness within me. Help me to walk according to your spirit and not be weak to the flesh. Heavenly Father, I lift up my loved ones to you. May the blessings, protection, and healing I've prayed for myself also be upon them. Let your favor rest on their lives, guiding their steps and meeting their needs. Help them to recognize that they too are chosen and set apart for your purpose. Draw them closer to you each day, revealing your love and grace to them in powerful ways. Lord, as I say this prayer, together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is humbled before you right now. We come in agreement, praying for each other, knowing that you are in our midst as you promised. Unite us in faith and purpose, reminding each of us that we are chosen and set apart for your glory. Father, we ask that you strengthen our faith and deepen our understanding of what it means to be chosen by you. Help us to live lives that reflect your love and grace to the world around us. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, empowering us to walk confidently in the calling you've placed on our lives. We claim victory over every challenge we face, declaring that we are more than conquerors through Christ. We thank you for your faithfulness and trust in your perfect timing. Protect us from the attacks of the enemy and guide our steps along the path you've prepared for us. 
may we never forget that we are chosen and set apart for your purpose. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you were blessed by this prayer, type the word Amen in the comment section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you. In the name of Jesus. You can help us to reach more persons and spread the gospel. You can do this by sharing the video with a friend or family member and by clicking the like button. Also remember to subscribe to our channel Daily Jesus Prayers for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all your support. You're blessed to be a blessing. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comments section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory and so that other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world can join us and start praying for you right now. Stand in faith with us while we pray. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.